Ladies and gentlemen, I am here with Cody Knotts, director of Breeding Farm, director of my personal favorite, Pro Wrestlers vs. Zombies, and I believe you're currently doing a movie called Gore, is that correct? Gore, finished. How are you today? Uh, good. Good, I'm glad to hear it. Now, one of your films has been released by Troma already, which is Breeding Farm. Uh, how did you come up with the idea for the movie Breeding Farm? Actually, we saw that in Malaysia, somebody had been forcing women to breed babies. And I saw it on Puppy the Post and thought that was pretty interesting. And so we built the entire story around that and based on what's going on in Malaysia. Then there was a movie just released called Mad Max that has kind of a similar theme to it. I was wanting to get your take on that. Well, I, I, I watched the film and I was like, wow, they have people, uh, women being milk for human milk and they have uh, these brides that are supposed to be producing a, a future warlord. Um, I, you know, I mean, I, unfortunately, I think a lot of women have been in these horrendous, not in the milking situation, but in a horrendous situation. I mean, so, uh, where they've been forced into being with men they didn't want to be with. How did Breeding Farm come about to be a trauma team release? Uh, we met with Matt Manjernis, who used to work there, and he liked the idea. We actually presented two films to him, uh, and that was the one they wanted. And I think it kind of fit their type of film. I mean, we were, we were pretty happy to, that, that we got distribution on it, and it's done really well. I mean, one the brief period, it hit off 100 horror films on Amazon for a couple of then after that, you were at a uh, Horror Hound Weekend in Ohio two years ago, I think now, uh, promoting yeah. your newest film, Pro Wrestlers vs. Zombies. This is from a release also. It'll be coming out uh, in September or August. They haven't told us exactly which, which month uh, from Pro. Now, that's the one that has me extremely interested. How did you come up with the idea of taking the zombie genre and mixing it with uh, pro wrestlers. Both two of my favorite things, by the way. Well, because uh, I have a... Well, my son was 13 at the time, and he's 16 now. But he likes zombies and wrestling, and I thought this is a really good combo. So why don't we put it together? And I went to college with Shane Douglas, so that led to Shane being involved, which led to everyone else. I mean, it just kind of snowballed from there. You said that it will be, re it will be released by Troma. There's an edition I have that I got from you guys at Horror Hound. Do you know if that's going to be different than what Troma's putting out, or any details on that, or no? Yeah, Troma changed the music on it. Uh, oh, it was only on one song. They changed one song out, and they did some work on the sound effect, which makes it better. I and mean, they did a lot of sound work on it. Um, so we were pretty happy with the, the promo version. I got to see it at Miami Comic Con earlier this year. The the movie you're currently working on, I, I can't remember the name of that, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, it, it's more orphanage. It's based on an Ohio urban legend um, from northern Ohio, and it's actually a very prevalent urban legend. And so the name is actually not, it's actually a four orphanage road in Vermilion, Ohio. And uh, so a lot of people in the Cleveland area and the Toledo area have grown up with this place. And it's about an orphanage that's been burned down and all the children know. And so it's not a gory horror film. Um, it is about psychological. There, there's not a lot of blood in it, even though the title is the Jeff other one. How did you get started in filmmaking and directing and all that? I was a newspaper editor. I hated my life. I got divorced, and I had a massive midlife crisis and decided to do what I wanted to do in life and headed into doing this. And no one would ever say this makes a lot of sense, but it's been working out, and things that uh, financially, it's, it's finally starting to pay off. That's good. I'm glad to hear that. And do you know when people can expect the, orphan, the uh, gory orphanage to come out? Uh, we're doing a premiere in Sandusky July 11th of the film. We're actually selling tickets on our Facebook site, and it, they've done, it's done really well. Uh, the theater is 1,500-seat theater, and we have over 300 
Ticket uh, Soul, something like that. And uh, there's Miss America, Jackie Moore is going to be there for the next three times in the film. Uh, Maria Olsen, who's a veteran of a ton of horror films, she was in Starry Eyes, uh, she was in Paranormal Activity 3, and Percy Jackson. And, uh, she was the lead, so she'll be there that night also. So, you know, it has had a cast of children. Which is not an easy thing to do on an independent film. But is there any sites you would like to promote or social media or anything before I let you go? Yeah, if you go on, a, if you go to the, you can find uh, Gore based on Facebook. Uh, there's also a site for zombies. Uh, right now, Gore has got a lot of activity going on because we're announcing different things with the uh, event. We're having two days of events and stuff. Uh, so it's kind of a cool. Day and we're having people who are border writers All right. Well, I thank you for taking uh, this time out of your busy schedule to do this interview, and I will talk with you later. All right. Thanks, Jerry.